So today we are going to take a look at our spine again. We're going to take a look um, at one of the most common problems that shows up, which is sort of lower back pain. And we're going to tackle it in sort of my traditional format, which is not directly. We're going to indirectly get there. We're going to start off with our upper back. Then we're going to go to kind of our hip pelvis area. And then at the end, we'll, we'll check out that low back and see how it is once those other two areas have been freed up. Um, I think we talked about before with the spine, there's a lot of joints going on. And uh, if some of them are not doing what they should, then others have to take up the load, which is often that lower back. We get stuck in that kind of rounded over position up here. And then that lower back has to take the brunt of the force. So let's get ourselves moving to start off with. We're gonna go through some cat and cow. We're gonna be on all fours. We're gonna think about rounding the back and then arching the back. So let's do this together. We're gonna to start off and think about pushing the fingers away, pulling that belly button into the spine and uh, squeezing the bum nice and tight. So we're really rounding that back like a, like a scared cat. Then we're gonna pull the palms towards us, squeeze those shoulder blades together and try and look up at the sky. All the while aiming that belly button down towards the floor. Hopefully feeling those back muscles start to contract. We'll go back up, we'll squeeze that bum, push the fingers away, pull that tummy in. Get as much round going on there as we can. Then we'll pull the palms towards us, pinch the shoulders together. Lifting that chin, try and pull the shoulders down your hips. <laughs> we'll go again, push the fingers away, squeeze the abs and the bum. And let's pull, 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 pull. Really trying to get those back muscles to work. And one more. Push your fingers away. <laughs> Pull the hands towards us. Get those back muscles all nice and contracted. And relax. Lovely. Okay, so we're gonna stay on all fours. We're gonna add a little bit of rotation. So if I show you sort of head on here, I'm gonna be on all fours. I'm gonna get my uh, hand behind my head. I'm gonna bring that elbow down towards the floor. And then I'm gonna reach on up towards the sky. I'm gonna do five of those on one side. And then we'll do five on the other side. Super careful here that your hand doesn't do all the movement. We want the actual torso to do the movement here. Off you go. The hand that's on the floor here, make sure that arm is fully straight. It's tempting here to cheat and try and bend that arm, but try and keep it straight. Get all that movement from your upper back, evening around your oblique. Once you've done five on one side, you can do five on the other. So we're gonna stick with the kneel in position sort of for one more. This time we're gonna uh, go through our, normally our cat stretch, we would do straight arms. We're gonna try it with uh, bent arms, okay? So we'll go kind of elbows on the floor, fingers interlocked behind your head, and from there, pushing that chest down towards the floor. There, really trying to uh, get a stretch through your tricep, but also open up that upper back rather than just uh, the lower back, okay, there. We'll go for about 30 seconds. Oh. 
you need to adjust your position, you can do. Further away your hands are from your hips, the deeper you can get into this. It's a much steeper angle than we're used to. The straight arms, it's a shallower position. All the while trying to work the chest lower, teaching those upper back muscles to contract, pull your spine into a good position. Try and set that chest on the floor. And we'll relax out of that. Nice. Okay, now we're going to go into a seated position. We could do this uh, kind of like a Russian twist, but we're going to try a seated version here. Okay, if uh, straight legs is too uncomfortable, you could cross your legs, that'll be okay. I'm going to give yourself a nice big hug. That, bit, that feels weird. Yeah, both feel better. That's okay. From there, we're going to rotate oh, as far as we can, and then we'll rotate the other way. Nice thing here, if we were to use arms, we could probably pretend to go further, because we'd bend an arm, but with this hug position, you're really limited by how much your chest can move. Let's rotate over, we'll hold for like three seconds, rotate over, hold for three, we'll do five each side. exercise for your obliques. You might even find your hip flexors trying to do a wee bit here too. As you reach over, really trying to breathe out, so you can get any further. show you it this way. We can do this a few different ways. It's called a shoulder bridge. Uh, so we're not aiming for like hill bridge. We're just going to be going up kind of on our shoulders. Okay. Bent leg would be easiest if we straightened out those legs and try and pull the muscles together that way. That would be a, a good bit harder. Okay. Tricky thing here is to get all the muscles turned on. So we're trying to Pull with the calf, the hamstring, get that bit fully engaged so then our lower back and upper back can also work. I um, want to be in as much of a bridge shape as possible rather than like a, one of those. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go for uh, three sets of 10 seconds. Starting in three, two, one and begin all the time trying to pull your heels towards your shoulders lift that rib cage up nice and high three two one and relax nice pretty short rest getting ready again in three two one up we go really trying to pull the heels squeeze the bum lifting that back up as high as you can and down <laughs> and do one last one. Three, two, one. Up we go. Really squeeze nice and tight. Lift as high as you can. Try and keep your arms off the floor. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay. So we're starting to work those back muscles a little bit and uh, get them to pull our spine into that extended position. Um, I'm going to revisit our kind of rotation again, a little bit different. Um, we're going to be on our side. I'm going to go face on with this one. So if I lie down this way, I'm going to stack my 
and knees on top of each other. My legs here are at right angles and my arms are right in front. From there, I'm just gonna open my hands, see how far around I can go. See if I can set the shoulder towards the floor and then come back again. Okay, you can think of this as opening up a book or uh, some kind of shark's mouth or snake's mouth or whatever. Uh, we'll do like five on each side. I think five's a good number for today. And uh, see how that goes. Hmm. Yes. Of course can. So we're here, we're on our side. Her knees are stacked on top of each other. Both hands reached out in front of your torso. Yep, that's it. And then we'll lift that top hand up. Trying to set it on the ground behind us. That's it. Keep those knees together and keep them at 90 degrees. And back around again. It's tempting here for the knees to drop away from the torso. Hopefully find each rep to get that a little bit further. Keeping those knees directly on top of each other, don't let them slip back or down. Let's keep them in position. Once you've done your five on one side, we'll go and we'll do five on the other. make this much harder by pushing your top knee in front of your bottom knee. That'll really limit how far out you can go. And then we've done a bit of rotation, did a bit of extension. We've done more rotation, so now we're going to go back to our extension. So uh, we'll be on our tummy. So it's last time we were on our back, this time we're on our tummy. We're going to have our hands out in front, and from there we're going to think about uh, lifting the neck and the upper back. Okay, I'll show you that this way around. I'm going to try and lift the neck and the upper back rather than just lifting that chin up. Okay, it's just going to put a load of pressure on your neck. It's almost thinking about making a double chin and keeping it as we go up. Okay, that arm down version is easier. Arm version out in front is harder. Pick one that you're comfortable with and let's do uh, five reps with like a one to two second pause at the top. You can leave the feet on the floor, that's fine. Just that upper heart. Really trying to roll the shoulders back and together. Get those upper back muscles working. And then we'll stay on your tummy and uh, we'll just stick your elbows underneath your shoulders and from there we're thinking about kind of pulling your elbows towards your hips so that helps squeeze the muscles in your upper back. This time we will look up with the chin 
So we're trying to lift up, so I'm trying here, so I'm trying to lift up and pull the shoulders back. Okay, you're not cranking the neck, but think like an elevator up with the chin. I'm going to hold that for about 30 seconds. If you're getting that lower back, let's try and squeeze the bum a little bit more. Think about having the pelvis nice and flat on the floor, not arched. And then try to lift up with the sternum rather than uh, bending with the back. Five, four, three, two, one. And from there, we'll just push on back to that sort of easy, relaxed position. Knees out wide, bum on the heels. If we need to, we can go up higher, kind of here. If your knees allow for it, then you can sit on back that bit further. Okay, so Nora, if you need to, that's, that's fine there. The wider your knees here, the more space there is for your tummy. Depending on how large your dinner was. <laughs> Really great way of relieving pressure in, in and around the hips and that lower back. Let's go for another 20 seconds or so. our upper back for a little bit and we're going to move towards kind of the hips so the front of our hips here and the usual position we're in is on the seat here so the muscles at the front those hip flexors go from being in a stretch position when we're standing to constantly being flexed so the body goes ah I'm really smart that's uh, expensive tissue to maintain so I'm just going to shorten that and then I don't have to maintain as much tissue I don't have to eat as many calories all that kind of stuff and trouble is then we end up with tight hips and then as we're standing we end up with that like sticky out bum and a dysfunctional hip so we're going to get into everyone's least favorite stretch couch stretch we're going to do it without a couch unless you have a couch uh, we're going to be in that deep lunge, okay, especially this way around, there. Now here's where things get fun, I'm going to pull that heel up and in towards the bum. So if you have a sofa, you can set that foot up on top of the seat, the knee into the bottom corner, and then we're going to try and push the hips away from that sofa, okay. Otherwise we'll do it in a lunge, totally fine. If you do know which is your tighter side, <laughs> try and do it first. We're going to go for a minute this time. A bit of a longer stretch. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. That's nice, Nora, yeah. If you can, try and get your left foot forward. My foot is forward. So instead of knitting, resting on your knee, try and rest on your foot with your left foot. No, that's your right foot. I'm not stretching anything. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So where you're at at the moment, we're going to try and get this leg forward. So your foot is on the floor instead of your knee. Like this? Is that oh, there we go. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. Right. And yeah. what well, you can even do there, yeah, so get this. that's okay. Yeah. Ignore the foot. Just put your left foot even further forward. 
even further, even further, and then push your hips forward. Yep, forward, forward, forward. That's the stuff, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep her lip, keep her lip. Go on. Oh, that's good. It's <laughs> <Is> on fire. <laughs> there we go, there's a good stretch. Okay. All right, and we'll swap it over. Don't worry, lads, we've got bonus stretch there. Happy days. Lovely bonus stretch. <clears throat> All right, same on the other side. If you are pulling that ankle up towards your bum, see how close in you can get it. If you can get contact, congratulations, well done you. Uh, your prize is awesome joints. It's a pretty good prize. <laughs> Go on, Andy. You got a cramp, lad? Just a little bit, yeah. With your calf? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe hamstring a bit. <laughs> Were you out running? Uh, at the weekend, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All the while here, trying to push those hips as far forward as we can. A perfect rep here would be hips flat on the floor. As you can see, none of us had that. <laughs> That's okay. Check out the upper back, check out the front of the hips, and now hopefully our lower back is going to be a little bit more mobile. Here is the, uh, I'm going to call it the ultimate lower back mobility test, uh, but it really does a lot more than just your lower back. It's called our stiff leg windmill. If I come all the way back here, and I stand with my feet at right angles, I'm going to put one arm up, I'm going to rotate over. Reach on down, and if my lower back is gonna be good for, for movement, I'll be able to get my hand all the way down there. And if it's gonna be problematic, I'll kinda get stuck oh, about here. Okay, so I'll talk you through that. And um, we're gonna go feet just outside shoulder width apart. We're gonna go right foot forward. We're gonna go left foot at 90 degrees. Okay, so turn right the way out. I want to turn to face that left foot, sticking your right arm up in the air like you just don't care. But you really do because it's important. And then what we'll do is we'll rotate to face our right foot. From there we'll reach our left hand down towards the floor, keeping both legs nice and locked. You can look up at the sky and set down as far as possible. Okay? Reaching down as far as you can, keeping both legs locked. And then we'll slowly come back up again. And rotate over towards that left foot. Let's do two more in your own time. Try to look up at your right hand. You can even rotate it like a full 360. Great piece of shoulder mobility as well. Super careful here to have our legs nice and straight, Joe. So help me, I will come along and tap you in the kneecap. Nice. One, two, three on one side, including the demo rep, and we'll go the other side. Oh. <laughs> You'll get in, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Just kill <cut it. laughs> <laughs> me slowly, kill me slowly. Alright, left foot forward, right foot turned out, left hand up in the air, face now over your right foot. From there we're going to turn to face the left foot, we're going to reach that right hand down towards the floor, keeping both legs nice and locked, looking up at the left hand. Please don't fart. And then all the way back up. Rotate it over to face your right foot again, and two more in your own time.
It's a really nice one once you get sort of decent range of motion, like your hands getting all the way to the floor to add a bit of weight to that upper arm. So you're getting that stability through the shoulder as it rotates, building up strength in your oblique and your lower back. It's all, uh, it's good stuff. Anyway, that is us done for the night. Uh, hopefully our lower back and back in general is feeling amazing. Even if uh, that didn't sound so good, Nora. <laughs> 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 All right, so good job team. Well done.